What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. Uh, I moved the mic around. It sounds a little bit better on my end when I'm doing the recordings now, not having to play with the, I don't know what you call that thing, volume synchronizer, equalizer gadget. So I wanted to see how loud I had to actually talk in the mic because uh, most of you know uh, on Tuesday evening, I end up getting a hi my hiatal hernia end up opening wider. And I've been down for a few days, real weak, had to change my diet up. Um, and wow, let me tell you, there's only certain foods you can eat that's very bland. And I, I've been just solid weak. And I've never sweat so much in my life. Okay, let me rephrase that. I have not sweat this much since I was in Afghanistan in the summertime frame with full battle rattle on. So if you know what I'm talking about, why, that's how bad it is. Um I don't know how long till I they actually see me, but once they do, we'll see where everything goes on to it. We'll still do overtime on Friday night with Joey. He's probably going to take more of a lead on to it. We'll just see how well my voice and everything is on to it for that night. But there's a lot to talk about. If you're not the National and you're getting tired of watching – Day one, part one of the national and day one, part six of the national videos and come on and uh, chit chat with us. But yeah, everything's been going pretty good. So here, here's the story that goes into play with this all. Um, I think I made a comment on to it to Charles. So there will be no video from the card show. <laughs> yeah, I, I royally messed up. So I got out of work Friday. Got all my stuff together. I t like because my garage gets very humid. I only put like my showcases, the anything that wasn't like a sports card into it. Okay, so I mean I was beat from just doing that much. So I came back down. I think Joey ended up calling me, and I was pricing cards out. And you know I just taking my time. I think it was about ten o'clock. I was done. And I was like, I didn't want to carry this box of wax upstairs. I really don't. So I'm like, I'll just do it in the morning. I'll get up at 6. Get up at 6. Yes, no, I didn't oversleep. Um, came down here, you know, grabbed, uh, it was one, two, three, four items that I had to bring upstairs of cards. And, you know, I hop in the shower. The dog was going to go to this, like, daycare place. And, uh, I mean, she, she loves it there. Super excited. Got her food in the bag, all that stuff. Um, came out. I was like, all right, I'm doing pretty good. Loaded stuff in my car. As I'm taking stuff out, you know, pug comes running out there. She's like grown in circles and stuff. And I'm like, all right, all right, let me get your little harness on here and throw you in the car. And I'm like, look, and I'm like, okay, I just need a water bottle and this and this and this. Go inside, grab it, leave. Take her down there. They actually opened up a half hour early for me as a favor. So I go up to Louisville. Now this is about an hour drive. <laughs> I take my first load in, set, you know, um, set up my table uh, cloth display, if you guys see it in the video. Talk to a few people. Uh, went back out, start unloading for the last load. Like, where's my Pelican case? The one thing I did not bring to the show was all my cards. That's no joke. The only thing I had with me were these SGC slabs right here and wax. I felt like the biggest idiot and dunce ever. So I walk back in, and it's three guys that run the show. And I went up to the guy, uh, pretty much been collecting the money. I'm like, dude, here's my money for the table. I did something stupid. I forgot my Pelican case that has my cards in it. <laughs> he looked at me. And I'm like, I'm really not joking. I mean, if I wanted to come in here, I wouldn't have set up my table uh, cloth thing already because that's a pain to fold up. So I just uh, gave him the money. And they were nice enough because I was, uh, after I packed up and was getting ready to leave, um, I was talking to a guy that's going up to the national, um, older guy, real nice. Usually we're always set up next to each other because, uh, he'll ask me like questions on wax and stuff like that. But, um, they, they, they were like, Hey, you, you know, 
we're going to hook you up on next show and stuff like that. And I was like, no, no, no. You know, it's my own idiot fault. And it, for me to go there, because I was there at like 830, didn't notice this till 845. If I'd have left and came back during all that traffic, it'd probably been about 11 a.m. till I set up 1130. I might only had an hour and a half at the show and I just I was done. And it was mostly to the point that I'm like super, super weak. I don't know if weak is even the word that I want to use. I would say drained even. So the plan was I came back yesterday and uh, was going to take some downtime, let the dog play down there for a little bit. By the way, if you watch that new He-Man cartoon, it's on Netflix. Wow. Um, don't listen to reviews. They kind of really shoot it down really too hard in a way. I mean, it's not the greatest thing out there. But, wow, I mean, they may seem a lot worse than what it was, but that's just my opinion. Okay, let's move forward. So, I mean, I, I just didn't have the energy to do much. I mean, again, it was like basically like a six-inch, uh, we call it a sandwich from Subway. And I got some th stuff onto my slab. So, if you guys see something you want on my slabs and you don't have an account there to buy, just let me know and I'll always pull it over to the store. Um, but I wanted to get more listed and I just didn't have it into me. I did put some wax in the store and this is kind of like the update. Gypsy Queen is in the store now and clearly authentic. I have one, two, three, four boxes of it. If anybody's into that, I think that's NASCAR Chronicles that I got one box of. Let me know. Sorry, I turned my head and read it there. But if you're into the NASCAR Chronicles that just released, let me know. I got one box of it, and I could put it in a store. I just didn't know how many people were into the uh, NASCAR boom, 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 boom stuff. I know everybody was into F1. But just let me know, and I'll load that up into the store. I just didn't want to put something in there. It's probably going to sit for maybe a year. Who knows? Um, There will be a second video today. And I'm doing it more as something I want to get out before the national. And it deals with some theft that happened at the Dallas Sports Card Show. No, it was not the one with the video I already did with Luca. It's something else that was put out. And I was just down for too long to even do any videos. So I'm going to get that out a little bit later on today. Um, that's probably going to be the quickest video that I've probably done in a long time. But I just want to give everybody an update. There'll still be videos that'll come out. I don't know if I'll have it in me for many two or three day stuff. Um, but if you see something either on my eBay store or uh, my my slabs, and you guys don't have accounts there or something like that, or you don't want to pay the <laughs> the sales tax and all that stuff, just let me know. I can always shift it over to the store. We'll figure out a price on it. And of course, the stuff on that stuff's a little bit higher than what I would sell it at because I sometimes tend to forget stuff's there. But other than that, everybody, have a good Sunday. Check out the video later um, because it's with a individual. He runs a really good Facebook group. He's one of the admin, and he had some stuff stolen from him from the Dallas show. Uh, it's just bad that he didn't have the actual pictures of the slab cards, but he was able to pull the information off of PSA's website. And then I also have two of this cards were serial numbered. I have those serial numbers. So if you are going to the National, can you guys uh, watch that video? Or if you're going to any shows or, L or local, what do you call card shops or um, looking around on eBay and you see it, uh, I'll put a link to the group on there. I don't know if it's a vouch system or not, but you could all, I think you have to answer questions. You can be like, hey, I just found some of the stolen cards from, or I found a card that was stolen out of Dallas. I just want to get in touch with the person or hit me up and I can let them know too. But I want to get that out because somebody might end up seeing it, especially at the national. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one. Oh, one more thing's going to the store. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm. I end up hitting two of these Blaze Jordans. As you guys can see, this one's really off-centered, left to right, <laughs> badly. I'm going to put it in the store at a decent price in case somebody wants it. Uh, that's probably the only thing I'm going to load in the store today. 
I've got to try to get a small SGC order out. And that's pretty much be my day. I might get a few things onto eBay as well, too. But uh, I'm hoping with time here and, you know, once my body adapts to this new cycle of very, very bland food, <laughs> that I'll be able to, you know, it'll start figuring out, hey, we got to use maybe stored fat as energy and all this other stuff. I don't know. But take care. Have a good one. And I'll catch you all later.